How are you today? Happy Divine Mercy Sunday. It's good to be with you. I am kind of sad that we're not meeting together, but that's okay because we're going to meet here and it's what we got. So we're going to go with it. Today's session is the Bark of Peter, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and begin with prayer, shall we? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I love this prayer. It's an Easter prayer. There's Jesus, or at least a representation of Jesus, at the resurrection. There's him coming out of the tomb and going into heaven. In the prayer, it rhymes, which is great. I love rhyming prayers. It says, Alleluia, Alleluia, hearts to heaven and voices raise. Sing to God a hymn of gladness. Sing to God a hymn of praise. He who on the cross a victim for the world salvation bled. Jesus Christ, the King of glory, now is risen from the dead. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Death at last has met defeat. See the ancient powers of evil in confusion and retreat. Once he died and once was buried, now he lives forevermore. Jesus Christ, the world redeemer, whom we worship and adore. Amen, alleluia, alleluia. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to gather together, even in these strange circumstances, to learn about you, to glorify you, to be open to you. Whatever you have, whatever message you have for us, please help us to hear it. Soften our hearts so we can receive it. Protect us so we can Behold it, an imitation of Mary. And we thank you, we praise you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Hello again. Um, it's great to be with you. We're going to have a few videos that you can watch for tonight's session. I'm going to be combining the content of the last two sessions that we would have had without quarantine. Um, so no easy task, but it's going to get done. So we will have the same format as usual. Opening prayer, check. Um, we'll have like a mind bender, right? Just to get the juices flowing a little bit. We will do a recap and then we will get in the content. We'll close with prayer and then we have announcements because you need to know what's going on and we finally figured out a few things. So um, let's go ahead and get ready for your mind bender, if you will. I don't know if that's what I should call it. Sure, why not? Let me go ahead and do a screen share. Sharing, perfect. All right, so this is the topic of the, of the night. The Bark of Peter, Life in the Church. Our first activity, okay. So I want to know, how many first jobs of celebrities do you know about, right? Everyone has to have a first job. Have you had a first job yet? Maybe it was picking up dog poop. I don't know. Maybe it was cleaning somewhere. Maybe it was mowing lawns or delivering papers. Everyone has a first job. So let's guess what these celebrities' first jobs were, shall we? All right. Before making it big as an actor, Brad Pitt used to do what to make ends meet? Was he a carpet installer? Was he a dancing chicken? A pancake chef, now that would be a good first job. Or a caricature artist? I'll give you five seconds and five, four, three, two, one, a dancing chicken. <laughs> That would also be a fun job. Um, he did that for El Pollo Loco in Los Angeles. Wouldn't be a bad job, no one could see your face. It would just need a lot of disinfectant spray. And who's next? Miss Tay Tay Swift. What did she do to make a little extra money before coming a megastar? Was she a window cleaner, a Christmas tree farmer, a chicken feeder, I can see that, or a TGI Friday's waitress? Five, four, boy, look at those earrings. Two, one, and she was a Christmas tree farmer, at least for one winter. Um, her job specifically was to remove mantis egg sacs from the trees before they were sold to customers. 
a very important job. I would be glad had I brought her trees that uh, she removed the egg sacs from them first. <laughs> right? No small job is unnoticed or unimportant, I should say. What about Johnny Depp? Long before he was captain of Jack Sparrow, how did he pay his bills? Was he a school janitor, a garbage man, a pen salesman, or a concert violinist? Mm. What did he do? I'm guessing he wasn't a violinist, but we'll see. He was a pen salesman. Okay, okay. Hard to find the purpose in that one, but everyone needs a good pen, right? Everyone needs a good pen. And you know, when you get that pen, you keep it. You don't lose sight of it, right? Everyone has that pen. What about Ashton here? Before becoming a successful actor, what did he do to help bring in extra money for his family? Oh, a kind man helping out the fam fam. Was he a karaoke show host, a bank teller, a janitor, or a pretzel baker? Hmm. You know, I think I would like to be a karaoke show host. I don't know how you do that, but I feel like that would be a lot of fun. What do you think he did? He was a janitor. He wasn't too proud to take that job to help out his family. And it was actually the General Mills factory where his dad worked. So following in the footsteps of his papa. What about Jennifer Aniston? What did she do before her big break? Was she a beekeeper? Actually, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, a bike messenger? Not exactly sure how that works. Maybe that was, that must have been uh, pre-text messaging. Um, a flight attendant? Or a makeup consultant? What do you think she did? She was a bike messenger in New York City. She must have gotten really good at dodging uh, <laughs> yellow cabs. <laughs> And these ones, we don't have trivia, but uh, Hugh Jackman, before he became a, an actor, he was a gym teacher. Can you believe it? Kind of can believe it. But you just never know which of your teachers are going to become actors, so you want to stay on their good side, huh? Just joking. <laughs> Bob Ross, good old Bob. He was a sergeant for the Air Force. I would not have guessed that one. And Miss Tina Fey. What do you think she did? She worked at a, um, a swim club, at the snack bar of the swim club as a server. So just as glamorous as the earrings she's wearing, right? <laughs> so we're gonna take a little break and we'll come back with another video.